how to get over a crush whom you slept with and is no longer talking to you. At one point in one's life, you may find yourself in a situation, a one night stand, a fling, a short term relationship with this very attractive human being who has left you with nothing more than an empty feeling inside. It sometimes feels like the most painful period you can ever have because it wasn't even an actual relationship. It can't even be addressed. They wouldn't even be an opportunity for a proper communication on how you can express your feelings to this person. It leaves you with an undescribable feeling of emptiness, pain, and extreme disappointment in yourself. Such relationships like this are known as situationships. And situationships can be hard to move on from. And you may be wondering, how can I get over someone I slept with either just once or for a short period of time and who has suddenly left me heartbroken without an explanation? Are you tired of thinking about that every single short period of time you hooked up with this certain someone? Do you feel like it's time you can stop thinking about them? Are you tired of being left to be heartbroken and wounded and confused and devastated? How hard has it affected your day-to-day running of your life? Then if so, this video is for you. I am going to be taking you through a few steps on how you can get over a crush you slept with. Step one, forgive yourself. It's only when you have forgiven yourself that you will be able to move on, move forward, and not waste any more of your time thinking about this certain someone. But the truth is, holding on to that guilt would only hold you back from the positive change you would have had in your life. So you just have to let go and let go of everything that you had with this person by doing one thing and one thing only, forgiving yourself. The second step is to letting go of your attachment to controlling everything. You need to realize that it is not possible for you to control everything that happens around you, which means that it is not a wise thing for you to be worrying about every single thing that happens in your lives, including what might happen if you were able to take control of the situation you found yourself with this person. So it's a very simple thing. Emotions are not things you can easily control every single time. So you need to realize it was not your fault that you didn't have control. But now that it has happened, you need to take control of how this person has left you devastated. You need to take control by choosing to be happy and choosing to learn to take control of how you feel now that you have been left hopeless. You need to prove to yourself and even to the other person that that person doesn't make you, that that person cannot break you. You are in control of your emotions. You may not be in control of that person and how that person sees you and how that person cares for you and how that person will treat you, but you will be in control on how you treat yourself and how you 
care for yourself. So you need to understand this and let go of every attachment you have with this person so that you can control how you feel about yourself. The third step is to take yourself out. Mm. Take yourself out is something you need to do for an easier way to move on from this so-called situationship. If you take yourself out, you would find out what you're missing from the world where you've put yourself to feel constrained by the pain and agony of this situationship. Take yourself out there. Go to a supermarket, go to a restaurant, go swimming, go places, travel if you can, and just breathe a new air into yourself. And believe me, you are going to feel better than you were when you were feeling emotionally devastated. And the fourth step to get over someone, sometimes you might need to get under someone taking yourself out is not just the full stop at least this time go on a date with someone you don't have to end up sleeping with them but meeting someone new and having a beautiful conversation with the opposite gender can go a long way to helping you to get over the previous person whom you had a situationship with but this time you take control of the date that you go under. So now you go for different dates with different people, make inquiries of their likes and dislikes, get to know them better just for the fun of it and choose to be happy in all. Now my final step is to learn your lessons. So it's important to love yourself. It's important to accept your mistake. It's important to forgive yourself. It's important for you to take yourself out and go on that beautiful date again. But if you do not learn your lessons, you will fall into this trap again and again. Make sure you pick the lessons you have learned from the previous situationships, the mistakes you have made, and how you found yourself in such situation so that you don't fall back in. You take a book, you write down, what have I learned? What am I taking back with me? What am I going to do? And how am I going to stop it from repeating itself again? And this time, do it happily. Thank you so much for listening. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, like and share this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.